What's good, everybody? Welcome back to the Cloud Slayer channel. Hope you guys are doing well. Uh, today, we're, we're back at it with another ramble. And, you know, I uh, had a pretty, pretty good weekend until, you know, yesterday. But, you know, I don't let that um, downplay the good things that happened during the weekend. You know what I mean? I uh, got some things accomplished. Uh, the usual, you know, uh, for uh, housekeeping and stuff like that, because they say uh, uh, a clean house is a happy house, right? Um, and a lot of Native traditions, it's, uh, they believe in, you know, everything has a spirit. You're uh, down to your home, to every plant, to every living organism. Uh, I'm guessing not rubber because that was man-made. And if you go to like science class and stuff like that, they're saying that that's not even matter or some stuff like that. So... Uh, well, that's what they said when I was in high, uh, middle school, high school, I guess, but uh, things could change, I guess. <laughs> you never know, because they do use matter that uh, does exist and to create that. So, I mean, it technically exists, but, you know, whatever. I'm not, I'm not into that, that realm of science and all that stuff, biology or whatever. Whatever it's called, I don't remember. It's been a long time since I've been to school with a K, right? Um, but, you know, you, take, you do your best to take care of your home, and your home will do its best to take care of you, you know. Um, I had the, the pleasure of going and uh, smudging down a friend's house for him, you know. Um, he want, he's, he's not native, but, you know, he's, it doesn't matter to me about that, you know. Um, he just asked if I would be able to do that for him, gave me, you know, stuff like that. And, you know, I'm, I'm more than happy to uh, help a friend that, uh, needs that stuff, you know what I mean? And, you know, like, it, it's difficult to say because, you know, in our Native tradition, they say that if you don't believe in that stuff, you know, then, you know, that way of life, then it's not going to work for you because you simply won't believe in it and stuff like that. But I don't know. I think that if, as long as you have, have, have good in your heart and you believe in it and you pray and you know, stuff like that, that the creator is going to correlate those, those thoughts that you put into it, that, you, uh, that, that hard work, that, that, uh, that good energy, that positive energy that you put into your, your family, into your house and all that stuff, you know, and that that's what it feeds off of and stuff like that. It, it, I'm not for sure. I'm not, I don't know. I don't, obviously, I don't know. And that's just something that I believe in, right? We all believe in different types of stuff and various things like that, and, you know, I was, I, like I said, I was more than honored to go pray at his home, uh, pray to his house, and ask his home to take care of him and his family, you know, and watch over them, and if there was anything there to have that, that, that being move on, right, and stuff like that, I didn't have any, like, bad feelings there, there was, like, a couple where I felt like maybe something was there, but um, that could always just be, um, you know, sometimes when you look in a dark corner, you, 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 your mind plays tricks on you, especially if you hear stories of that place, you know. Um, like, he said that he was having some issues with, or not, not an issue, because the, it was just that his girlfriend was, like, hearing crying when the kids were sleeping. And uh, when they first moved in, he seen feet run behind him, uh, when he looked, you know, down be behind him or whatever, through his legs, and you see legs scattered uh, across the like, hallway, and he he asked his uh, girlfriend or whatever, you know, um, what uh, whether the kids were all upstairs with her, with her, and she said that they were. So, and then they found out that they had some uh, a funeral there, like a traditional Native American funeral, uh, some some years ago, you know, and. You know, I don't know if that, that spirit had any tie, tyings there, bindings there, bindings there that kept it there. But, you know, I, would, I, I just went there and prayed and, you know, did the best I could to, you know, help that spirit move on, per se. So, um, and, he's, you know, he, he said that he felt something as soon as I uh, lit the sage to start smudging the home and, you know, stuff like that. So, uh it's pretty cool, you know, that I could do that for somebody, you know. I just, it's not very often that I get asked to do that. I don't care whether, uh, what race anybody is, what religion anybody is, but 
if they ask that and they're, you know, they're willing to open up their homes to allow, allow me in there to um, do something that I believe in, that something that I grew up with, you know, and uh, to me, that's magical. That's magical to myself. And uh, he gave me a big hug before I left, you know. <laughs> you know, that's all, <laughs> that's all payment I need from people, you know what I mean? Is a, a, a thank you and a hug and stuff like that. And that's, you know, that's, that's life for you. Some people want payments or something like that, but not everybody does, right? And the only thing I asked from them is to keep a, keep a clear mind, keep a positive mind, and do the best they can to take care of their home, to take care of each other, you know? And that's ultimately what it comes down to. And, you know, hey, maybe, maybe, just maybe, you know, that nothing else comes, comes from it, you know? Because he had like, it's was, it was my guy Kyle anyways, but we'll just say that because uh, he was on the podcast before. We had a podcast. He talked about his, his happenings of, uh, paranormal experience of uh, pots being thrown and all this kind of stuff, pans and stuff, at uh, his last house that he just moved from. So we we're hoping that it didn't just follow him, but it doesn't sound like it because the house wasn't being played with uh, the pots, pans, and stuff like that. So that that's a good sign, I, I believe. And you know, hey man, like I said, awesome, awesome stuff. And you know, it was it's an honor to help a friend out. It's always always will be, always has been and stuff like that, and, you know, yeah, that was a couple weeks ago, anyways, but uh, we'll, we'll go on from there, um, we'll go on from hardships, sometimes, you know, I, I talk about relationships with other people, you know, and one of, one of the biggest relationships and bonds and maybe even hardships for some people are, it comes from family, you know, um, yeah, it could be it could be your mother, your father, your brother, your sister, your your nephews, your niece, your daughters, or whatever you know. Anybody related to you inside your own uh, home or whoever you grew up with, um, you're gonna come across disagreements, and you know some days those people are just gonna push you to make you as angry as possible, man. And sometimes they'll get that reaction out of you, and and you blow up, you know. Uh, whether you're not feeling good that day, whether you're going through some kind of sickness uh, and they, you know, don't care or don't know. Um, you know, that's, I, I don't know. I don't know whatever the situation might be, but, you know, they, they get that reaction on you and then you're just like, you're amped up, you're, you're angry. You could, you feel like you could just hurt somebody, right? But you don't, you go on and you, you, go, you go home or you go out for a walk. You have to, you have to leave because you can't be by those people because, uh, something bad might happen. You can feel it in your gut. You can feel the tremble in your hand because you're so angry, right? And for for a different reason, you know, you're like, I I have to leave or else I'm going to hurt somebody, right? Um, which is a good play, unless if you know it's some somebody you don't know and they're they're really gonna uh, come and hurt you or something. You got to defend yourself. But when it's your family members or something and they're pushing you to that limit, you know. And you need to clear your mind because you're building up with emotions. You're building up with anger. You're build, building up with a bunch of different things, right? And, you know, sometimes I think that anger that, that invites things, you know, invites things that could be spiritual into your life, um, ghosts or something like that. And it, it can sometimes conjure up, whether it just be in your subconscious or it actually conjures something up that might lead to like haunt, haunting type experiences, you know what I mean? Um, uh, natives, that's what they believe and they always say, be positive, leave those things alone. If they, they're there, you ask them to leave. And then that's when, you know, you have somebody come and pray, pray and have, help those beings move on. Because sometimes it's it could be people's emotions like that that stirs them and uh, brings them into a uh, home or something, you know. Uh, I know we kind of kind of see it in movies sometimes, but you know, it's it's an actual thing that uh, Native American people believe in too, uh, from what I've heard through my whole life, you know, and stuff like that. And 
I don't know, they call it bad medicine or something, but they also say there's no such thing as bad medicine, just misused medicine and stuff like that. So um, I don't know. I, I'm, I'm in between. I just don't know because if they're trying to do it with malicious intent, then I guess it can be bad, so bad medicine or whatever. But And, you know, it comes down to the individuals, you know. You never know um, what people are capable of wishing on you or, others around them and stuff like that or you know it it sucks it sucks big time um because you know you, you everybody wishes the world could be a better place but will it ever you know um we see a lot of these things people dying man i've been i see it on like x where this guy carrying two dead kids in his arms man his own children you know crying and stuff like that uh we're seeing it a lot from those bombings with from like Hamas and stuff like that. And it's fucking, it's terrible, you know? And it's like, I'm not saying anything about, you know, like those people, they need to stop bombing them because those other people did terrible things too. But they, they slew 1,300 people. I mean, that's no excuse to kill innocent people by any standard, by any means, you know? That's, it's fucking disgusting. It's not, you can't do two wrongs to, it doesn't create a right, you know? And, you know, they should be ashamed. But at the same time, we don't know. You know, they could be hiding those. They're hiding beneath civilians as well. So it's, it's, it's terrible, you know? It's, I don't like to get political leaner, neither. But when, when there's people that are dying for no fucking reason, it's, it's, a, it's a fucking shame, man. It's a goddamn shame, man. They're... It's over, what, like 4,000 children, dude? 4,000 children, man. I, uh, I'm, I, like, I hold my son every day, and I'm, I pray to the Creator, and I thank him, you know, that I'm in a situation where my son doesn't have to be like that, where I don't have to live in fear for him, for everybody that I live with and everybody I'm friends or friends with and stuff, you know, not in family, that we don't have to worry about that. But, you know, that, it can always happen. It could happen, man. It just... It takes some, some uh, religious group, it takes some political group, it takes some evil group in general to, to just believe that they're right in some way to take the lives of others that, and then they justify it because uh, some group's evil or whatever. Whatever have you. Um, it doesn't matter to me if they're not, if they're civilians like that and they're not doing any, anything but believe in God and trying to make better for their families. They don't deserve that shit. I don't give a fuck what anybody says, you know? And, yeah, I don't know. There's a lot of scary stuff. I, like, I, I heard some stuff about, uh, they say Trump said something about religion, and I don't know if it's true or not. I don't know if he meant, like, Christianity, but, or if he just meant being an American in, in general, because we all know that medias, depending on which side you read it on, can take it out of context, can create a narrative to uh, stir some kind of fright in people to make them on a side, per se, you know, or fight a different people or trying to do a, uh, win some votes or something, you know? And I just, I don't, I don't like, like, to me, I've, uh, for this last election and the election before, I was kind of, you know, my own family, but they would talk, talk shit to me, calling me uh, like a Trump supporter and stuff, which I'm not. I'm not a Trump supporter. <clears throat> I just believe in calling out bullshit on either side, you know, either side that's trying to divide you and make you think the other side's evil, and then they don't want to call out their own bullshit, and then they want to just throw it under the rug because you're just going to forget because you're just a big stupid person, you know? And... I don't know. I think we should call out wrong on either side, regardless, regardless, and not try to hide it and try to justify it because of whatever. Because, like I said before, <clears throat> two wrongs don't make a right. And we all know this. We all know this deep down in our hearts, you know. And you know, we keep going anyways. We keep going. We hope that maybe the next day is going to be better. It's going to be brighter. That maybe we can come together. That maybe this bullshits of sides um, soon throws itself away, that we don't continue to fucking divide ourselves. But, you know, we've been doing that since I was a kid, since before I was born, you know. We keep, we, our peop, Native peoples believe that maybe one day that, you know, 
things were going to change. I, I mean, ultimately they did, but they didn't change themselves, right? It never changes itself. It, it never will. It'll never come to that resolve. People have to stand up, you know, whether they're protesting or something like that, um, because um, one side's going to view those protesters as evil, as bad and all that stuff, but if they were on the side of the protesters, if they lived their life, they were, they'd be in the right, you know? And it's, it's, it's tough, it's tough, because you're only going to go off your perspective and your way of life and how you're living in, the, in that, that time frame, you know? And some people, they, some people never know those struggles that some of those people go through, you know? And hardships and stuff like that. But, you know, who knows? My, one person's rights, another person's wrong, and that person's wrong is another person's right. And, you know, we all have rights at the end of the day, and we're all wrong at the same time. So it's, it, it sucks, man, it sucks that you have to, we all have to witness that kind of stuff, but it's a good thing that we have to, we, ha we should be witnessing that stuff, we should be watching that stuff because we know that these are the atrocities that we don't want to happen that have happened to, in our own country, you know? And, you know, we say, I know a lot of people are like, we should focus on our own country. I agree, I 100% agree. Because we have a shit ton of problems too that need to get fixed, you know, and stuff like that. But if the world breaks out, and you know who they're gonna send? They're gonna send all of us out there, you know? They're gonna send everybody out there, uh, regardless. Um, people are going to protest, people are not, they're probably going to go to prison to not go, you know, um, stuff like that. Um, there's war on police, you know, police brutalities and stuff like that. Yeah, police can brutalize people, they have, and especially in the past, you know, and I think it might be, it's less common than it used to be, yeah, but it still happens, you know. Um, I was raised to always, always listen and stuff like that to commands of an officer because you don't know what, what they went through that day, that week, that year, or in their lifetime, you know? Because they're humans too. They go through hardships as well. Maybe they're stressed out. Maybe they're, they could be dr on drugs. There's cops out there on drugs too. They're drug addicts just like everybody else because they're human. They're not perfect. Nobody's perfect. Um, military people, you know? I've had many military friends, drug addicts too, you know? And they've seen some horrible, some of those guys seen some real horrible shit. And others, they're strong, they persevered, and they never gave into that stuff, you know, uh, of course. And there's people from all walks of life, man, all walks of life. And whether they're Republican, Democrat, or just don't believe in either fucking side because it's bullshit, you know, because regardless, the system's going to win, you know. The system... The system feeds off of either side. It wants those controversies. They want them to, us, they hate each other, you know? And it's sad, you know? It's sad, it sucks. People, people, I don't know. It's hard to explain to my own family when they call me that kind of stuff. And, you know, I, I don't let it bother me, of course, because they just, they're not me. They're just simply not me. My brother could have grew up just like me, but he's not me, you know? My little sisters, um, stuff like that. My parents raised me, but even growing up, like some of their ideals changed, you know? Some of their, just, just because of a, a side, you know? Uh, Republican or Democrats or whatever. And they're always talking about like fight the system type shit, but here, whatever a Democrat tells them to think, you know, the Democratic side, I should say. Uh, that's, that's where they go instead of using their own brain, you know? Like, you should question those things, you know? Because at one point, our Native people were on that side of being chastised, of being killed and all that stuff too, you know? We were on that opposite side of, and guess what? That, that system at that time was saying that they were right to their own people. And, you know, we became part of those people and now it's still saying the same shit. That's all I see, that's all I see. And it's, history's always bound to repeat itself. When, when people aren't willing to question it, when people aren't willing to stand up, you know? And, you know, who, who the fuck am I, though? You know, like I say, I just, I talk about shit, and I'm not, I'm just saying it, you know? I have to 
go to work and try to support my family and feed them and do the best I can for them and uh, try to hold it together and not crumble to pieces and uh, hurt those around me, hurt myself and, um, you know, give in or kill myself or something. You know, like, that's, that's, that's the harsh realities of it, of human life, you know. People drive themselves crazy because <sighs> they don't live up to a standard that others create for them. Who knows? I don't know. I don't know why people do it. I knew why I came close once, but, you know, I could only speak on myself. I can only speak on my own experiences because what I'm, everything I'm saying now is going to be totally wrong to uh, the fuck ton of other people, you know, other people from different walks of life, you know what I mean? All I can say is you got to keep going, man. You got to keep your head up, keep positive, try to stay strong, brothers, brothers or sisters, you know, you got to, life's going to continue to be hard, but you're going to find a way, you know, find a way regardless and hold your family up and hold and love them and cherish them, you know, as best you can. And hopefully that stuff doesn't strike us, you know, but in the end, death comes for, for us all. So um, anyways, I'm sorry to end that one grimly anyways, but if you enjoyed the content, please hit that uh, like and subscribe button. I do appreciate it. And uh, as always, peace out, guys.